Hello, my spider friends. So I want to address a frustrating fact of my life that's becoming more and more in my face as time goes on. And that is wheelchair accessibility. <laughs> or the lack of wheelchair accessibility. You see, when I was walking, not once did I ever think, can I get in there? Can I go for a wee? <laughs> but now that's forever in, in my mind. I'm always thinking, people are like, oh, you should come over, or oh, you should do this, or oh, we should do that, or oh, let's go clubbing, or go to the pub, or have a meal, or any, anything. And you have to think them two thoughts. have a wee <laughs> because even the most accessible places <laughs> are downright difficult to either get in or have a wee like you might have a really accessible place and have a gravel gravel car park or you might have a really good doorway in but you might have a toilet that is the size of a shoebox and you can't maneuver your tank <laughs> your legs in the shoebox <laughs> you know um, you or, or, or that is well known as a brilliant toilet but you can't get in there it's got double doors so you have to ask someone to come and help which there is no problem no problem with asking people for help but how many people who are walking have to ask for help to open doors to access somewhere I'm sure there's a few but I mean the average majority of people you just walk through a door just go go to a toilet you know with all these thoughts um, they craze me and I'm sure they craze every single person in the wheelchair. I took walking for granted. I never thought about any of this. So I was in that majority of people. I, I just thought, oh, well, you know, there's access. But it kind of takes a little bit of your, a little bit of, I don't know the word for it, like humanity, a bit of who you are in a way because you have to rely on others or just not do something in the first place and that's really quite depressing because if you're anything like me and you want to live independently I mean I accept the fact that is what it is you know of course it does my head in at times <laughs> but I'm pretty accepting of the fact that is what it is but not being able to be independent or having to always rely on other people to achieve something. Like going around friends, you know, most of the time, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, unless they're in a wheelchair, you can't get in their house. Uh, they have to help you in their house or bungalow. Um, and then 99.9% .9 of the time, you can't get in that toilet um, and I've still got the ability at the moment to stand up and drag myself around holding one to bars. Now a lot of people don't have that ability so that is completely like they can't do it, they can't, they just have to weed themselves <laughs> or not go um, and I like that with the majority of places I've been there's bit people have to help you in and then you have to just be like oh, I need to go there in the toilet you have to question can I go to the loo can I get in and out independently or if I can't get in and out independently is someone going to be there and quite happy to help me in now I don't like always asking for help you know, I will ask for help, I've got better at it. But sometimes you think, oh, why should I? 
Why should I ask for help? What the hell can I not access somewhere that everyone else can? Just because I'm a wheelchair user doesn't make me um, any different in any way. I'm still a human. I'm still wanting to live my life. You know, it's just my card's been dealt differently. And people tend to forget that. And I know even I forgot that when I was able to walk. You look at people like, oh, well, you know, but we never consider what's going on in their brains and how difficult their life is just just being them. Um, and I'm not saying people that can walk have got it easily. <laughs> you know, backtracking a bit here. I'm not saying that. But it is a point of a, a point of a fact. That doesn't make sense. A fact, a, a point of point of view. Yeah, I guess that it's not very nice when you want to be independent and you have to be alienated against because you use a wheelchair. Um, because any point, at uh, any time, hopefully not. But at any point, at any time, anybody could be in a wheelchair. That's just the way it is. Hopefully not, but that is the way it is. And sometimes I think the society forgets that. And uh, I know I did when I was younger. Society forgets that though. And so if you're in a wheelchair, you're different. It's like, oh, a wheelchair, oh, you need to look after. No. No, people in wheelchairs don't need looking after. Just because someone's in a wheelchair doesn't make them completely separate to anyone else. Yes, people need extra help than others. But the majority of wheelchair users just want to get on with life and be treated the exact same. And, and be able to have the ability to get in somewhere and have a wee and live their life like everyone else um, but yeah I'm finding that's not the case at all and you have to think all the time oh can I wee, oh can I get in there you have to plan you have to plan and although that's a good thing to plan plan these things is draining, frustrating um you know, it, it's just, it, it just feels a bit like you've been dealt with a really difficult hand. So, as a society, we're going to make it even more difficult. <laughs> you know, um, and something needs to change soon because we're, we are changing all the time as, as, as years go by. I'm 30 now. Society has changed so much. And although wheelchairs more more accepted nowadays, um, we, we seriously need to make this acceptance. <laughs> uh, you know, we game more work. We we seriously need to make this um this world equipped to cater for independent wheelchair users as well as humans that can walk. No, it's, we are humans in wheelchairs, but yeah. <laughs> but um, that, that it needs to happen because it's hard to not say no to your friends about going around because you don't want to worry about um, scratching their skirting boards or with your wheelchair or um, not being able to use the toilet or having to rely on them for certain things is not I know for a fact it's not what I want you know I want to be me this is me yes I'm Sam Pardo who uses the wheelchair but the wheelchair doesn't get in the way the only reason the wheelchair gets in the way is because majority the majority vast 99.8% of the majority of places aren't catered for wheelchairs even though anybody at any time could be in them why is that Let's find out. Anyway, I'm running. <laughs> it was just 
something that I wouldn't speak about. But anyway, have a good day, take care of yourselves, keep on smiling.